On web development front, we did what our users have asked for. Uniface applications for the web are now based on XHTML rather than HTML, making them more extensible and portable. The functionality of the NVU editor is now fully integrated into the server page editor, making it possible to edit and save the data structure and layout of server pages in a Uniface development environment, instead of generating and maintaining external HTML files. It is used to define the layout and it also includes the embedded data structure, as well as the other HTML-based definitions by inserting text, images, links, tables, and so on. The layout editor now also supports more advanced features such as JavaScript and stylesheet editing. The Migrate Repository utility offers several options for migrating Uniface 8 server pages with or without corresponding skeleton files. Skeleton files are no longer required but they are still supported at runtime, should you desire to use that functionality. One of the buzzwords today is SOA, which stands for Services Oriented Architecture. We can say that Uniface has supported this model since version 7, when we introduced service components. However, today SOA is mainly focused around web services. We introduced web services support in Uniface a few years ago, and now we enhanced it even further by removing any dependencies on third-party software and also by enabling Uniface to handle web services regardless of their complexity. It is important to state that Uniface support for web services, both consuming and producing, is standards compliant. This means Uniface can communicate with any standards compliant web services regardless of its complexity. You as a developer can create and read data in any XML format you desire by using built-in XML reader or writer component. As you know, Uniface has always provided multilingual capabilities in the past. Having said that, Uniface is now Unicode enabled, so you can create full international applications. What does this mean for you as a user? Well, for instance, when you create a multilingual application, this application can display many different languages in one form component and accept inputs from different languages into one field. Say, for instance, you've got an application that stores customer details. This application is an English-based application, but your customer address is actually in Japanese or Russian, or any other language for that matter. Now, this functionality is easily achievable with Uniface 9. With Unicode, our language support is now extended to more complex languages such as traditional Chinese. And, of course, all of these capabilities are fully conforming to Unicode standards. On the Uniface efficiency side of things, Uniface users know that Uniface has always been very efficient in terms of scalability and performance. However, now we made it even more efficient with several significant enhancements. Firstly, the way in which Uniface handles unused Uniface segmented memory has been changed. Formerly, Uniface did not free up USM memory. Now it does so when it's more than a minimum unused memory available. This memory amount is of course completely user configurable using the dollar memory setting. Uniface process now also excludes non-needed segmented string fields from automatic field lists, thus improving performance on your applications. And one other nice utility for developers, Solid Database, if chosen for default repository, is now installed as a service and does not need to be initiated separately. Our TCP connector has been extended to connect to a remote Uniface router processes via a wireless network. Currently, Uniface supports the following types of wireless connectivity, Wi-Fi, GPRS, UMTS, and Bluetooth. As you have probably already experienced when using wireless networks, they can be unreliable sometimes due to the range and interferences. Should the connection be broken, users can lose data and we do not want this to happen with Uniface applications. Hence, Uniface wireless network support ensures data recovery if the connection to the network is lost. For example, if you walk out of range of a Wi-Fi hotspot, in this case, walking back into range re-establishes connectivity so that the Uniface servers that you had contact with are still there as if the connectivity was never lost. A configurable timeout setting $net underscore timeout ensures that Uniface does not permanently attempt to regain connectivity if the connection is really broken. Now, let us move on to innovations within Uniface. With Uniface 9, you can reuse your existing Uniface skills to build Uniface applications for Windows mobile devices. Developing mobile applications is essentially the same as developing any other Uniface application. No new component types are required for this functionality. So the phone components are used for Windows mobile devices as well. 
Once the application is deployed on a mobile device, data can be synchronized with the server either through the TCP connector, which now supports wireless and Bluetooth connectivity, or by using default database built-in synchronization. For instance, Oracle Lite comes with this utility and can synchronize the data for you. Currently, databases supported are DB2 Everyplace, Oracle Lite, Sequential and Windows Embedded Database. So let's summarize. Uniface has always been one of the most productive development tools on the market, comparing to the lines of code that developers need to write to build applications. Uniface remains to be that tool. With mobile application development now possible, we stand behind our old commitment, develop once, deploy anywhere. The key message to remember here is, from mobile to mainframe, literally. We have one of the most loyal customer bases in the world. If you ask why, we think one of the main reasons is the fact that we never, ever had a technology break where we forced our customers to rebuild their applications simply because we released new version of Uniface. And rest assured, that's still the case with Uniface 9 and it will always be the case. But to be as a successful product as Uniface, you need to follow market trends but also be innovative. We are proving this with Uniface again by providing support for new operating systems as they are being released, such as Microsoft Vista, by allowing our users to reuse their existing skills to build new mobile applications. We are currently working on additional support for web development, which will enable our customers to build rich internet applications and provide Uniface developers, yet again, with the possibility to reuse their existing skills to build feature-rich internet applications. Hence, again, reducing time to market and giving you the Uniface user the edge. This concludes our presentation.